In this video we will see what we can build with an ESP32, 6 NeoPixel LED mattress and a battery. Follow the video until the end and you will see how fun and simple it is to make. And so let's start as in every project with 3D modeling. So I created a structure where we will place all six leg matrices. I inserted magnets on the top so I could open and close it without using screws. And then I created an order that holds the cylindrical battery. And finally I designed a support on which to place the cube. I use Prusa Slicer to prepare file for my Voron 2.4 3D printer. For this project I use a matte PLA from Overture. I feel comfortable using the Geroid system as an infill. The footage you see was speed up in post-production. I generally print at 60 mm per second. PCB Ways offer the best custom PCB prototyping service, but they also offer injection molding, 3D printing laser and CNC cutting with their instant quote feature. You can simply upload your model and choose from SLA, FDM and SLM, which is a laser mounting a metal powder to make metal parts. They also have an instant quote feature for their custom PCB. So go ahead and try it right now at the pcbway.com. This is where the print stops and wait for me to insert the fur magnets in the corner of the piece which will then be used to close the cube. The print then restart and cover the magnets incorporating them within the structure. These are the pieces that make up the cube. Below is the magnet. And this thickness will then be used to support the other walls. Now let's try to visualize how all the pieces will be assembled. Be careful because the side walls are of two different types and in the description you will find all the information. Insert metal screw which will only be used by the magnet to remain attached to the structure.
can start gluing the wall to the cube structure. Be careful to align all the pieces correctly. With a paper tape, fix in the place the whole structure so that the glue dries keeping the pieces well aligned. microcontroller we handle two rows of matrix separately. Each row will consist of three matrices. The terminal wire of the last matrix of each row can be removed. While the input cable of the first matrix of each row must be replaced with a longer cable and with a JST connector. The data come in from here. Let's start by desoldering the cables that are not needed and then connecting the new cable with the JST connector. And this is the final result. Now let's make the power cable which will then be connected to the battery. In this project I use an ESP32.
connection very simple just connect the microcontroller to 5 volt and ground and then use two pins to control the two sections of matrices this is the battery I used but here too you can use any 5 voltage battery of battery pack using the right tool prepare the USB GST cable Then, with an easy trick, you can save time and prepare the other cables in an instant. I glue the battery support to the structure. With this support inserted inside the battery, I can screw it and keep it stable inside the cube. Let's start applying the double side tape on which we will we'll then place the LED matrix. We remove the film from the tape and with extreme care apply the lead mattress, align them as precisely as possible. create the effects I use WLED application which you can find at this address. 
After installing it in ESP32, you need to configure some parameters such as the maximum usable current. And here we need to indicate the two pins of the ESP32 that were used to manage the two rows of matrices. Then we save and select 2D configuration. We set the values as indicated. We can display all the effects we want and also create a playlist so the effects play in sequence. And here is the final result.